is lovely. <laughs> I didn't expect I'd have this kind of fun while opening up to a stranger. A viral New York Times article featured 36 questions that could supposedly make any two people fall in love. We wanted to see what would happen if we asked these questions to two complete strangers on a blind date. Uh, my name is Diana. Diana, uh, yeah. have you been on a blind date before? No, I've never been on a blind date. Uh, what do you expect from this blind date? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm expecting to be surprised. What's your relationship status? Um, complicated. <laughs> Have you ever been on a blind date before? Uh, no, no, this is my first time on a blind date. Okay, hope you enjoy it. Hi. 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 Take uh, four minutes and tell your partner your life story in as much detail as possible. Uh, my life story. Okay, I can't say my life story, but since I was a kid, uh, I was very curious, which enabled me to you know, tackle most problems that used to come my way. Um, I used to be a very stubborn kid, baby. My parents used to ground me and complain about me all that shit. Mm -hmm. And um, tell me about your life story. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I was born in Campbell County. <laughs> then I stayed in Nairobi for like the major part of my childhood that is maybe from the age of okay one to seven when i moved to samburu stayed there for i think five years uh went to nakuru and now i'm back in Nairobi. Yeah, so uh i don't remember the primaries i went to apart from the last one which was saint mary's in samburu then i attended john john high High school, it's in Lake Ipia County, it's in between Yahururu and Yahuru. Then here I am. Um, don't know where that is. Okay, I'm in J Court right now. I'm pursuing uh, strategic management and hopefully finance. Yeah, I've learned a lot of things in life. Of course, there have been ups and downs. Yeah. But so far, so good. I thank God for being alive. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the bad question is, tell your partner what you like about them. Be very honest this time, saying things that you might not say to somebody you just met. <laughs> you understand? Okay, so I... Uh, to this point, I haven't learned much about you, but I can say I like uh, you physically, you're cute. Yeah, and I also like the way you talk. That's it for me. I have no negative things to add to that. What I like about you, since you've just met a few minutes ago, I guess. Uh, first of all, obviously, your physique, and uh, you look really attractive, baby. And uh, you also look calm and uh, well kept to yourself. I can see you, you look neat. Yeah, that's uh, what I can see is really attractive. That I wouldn't say to someone I've actually met. Yeah. <laughs> question do you have a secret hunch about how you will die 
um, the secret hunch of how I will die, I think I'd probably be in my 90s, 80s, and I'll trip over my briefcase worth of 1 billion US dollars and probably hit my head. <laughs> so, what's your secret hunch about how you die? So, my secret hunch is that I feel like uh, maybe I'd drown one day. <laughs> but I hope that would be the case. I hope I'll die a very natural death when I'm old. And so the next one is, given the choice of anyone in the world, whom would you want as a dinner guest? Wow. <laughs> That's a hard one. But I guess I'll have to choose uh, her. Nina Dobrev. She's an actor. She's the star. Uh, she's studying in the Vampire Diaries. I really like her a lot because of a lot of things. I think she inspires me. Apart from being good in acting, she's good with other things. And I think she's really adventurous. She was never afraid to travel the different places and that's what I want to do when I have money enough to travel all over the world yeah and she's so unique she's uh, jumpy she's pretty she has the brain so yeah definitely her as a dinner guest I think uh, anyone in the world who I'd rather have at my dinner table would be Elon Musk and uh, the specific reason is uh, this guy inspires not only me but everything there is in this world he's affected uh, trade markets he's affected the way people think about green energy and technology and um, in what I'm pursuing uh, in university I'd like to end up building like buildings and transport systems which are green and that's why I follow Elon Musk in everything that I do. All right, the next question. Complete this sentence. I wish I had someone with whom I could share. with whom I could share my playlist with, because I feel like I have one of the best playlists out there. Um, I have so much love for music. Music is my escape. And if I could just share those happy moments where I feel like I'm out of this universe with someone, it will be sitting down and listening to my playlist. Yeah. So tell me about yours. Uh, so for me, I wish I would share adventure. I wish I had somebody to share adventure with. Yeah, somebody would go to places, try new restaurants. Yeah, that's it. So what would consist, constitute a perfect day for you? Uh, for me, it would uh, be spending my day on a beach, yeah, very beautiful beach. Then I'd swim, after that I'd go home, watch a uh, movie, yeah, it's nice. Okay, I prefer seaweed. It depends on my mood, yeah. Yeah, then I'd just a nice and that would be my perfect day. What will constitute for me a perfect day? Uh, first of all, an early morning with a good shower. I love showering, it freshens me up. Um, reading. I love reading early in the morning because that's the first time my brain is ready to learn new things. Uh, 
um, a bit of exercise because I exercise right there. And um, following through on my day to day schedule because sometimes I can be busy with school, work, uh, and uh, a bit of research. Yeah. Uh, the next one is How close and warm is your family? Do you feel your childhood was happier than most other people's? Okay. So, I'd say my family isn't that close. Yeah. Which necessarily isn't a bad thing. Because it has never been a big issue to me. Uh, for how I was raised, my childhood, I'd say it was okay. And yes, I feel it's better than most other people's. Yeah, because I was really happy. My mom was there, my dad, but my dad tried to be there. Yeah, so I had a good, pretty good childhood. I'd like to say that my family is like medium close. But uh, I'm more closer to my mother's side of the family because I feel like I relate to them more. Um, my dad's side, uh, they're more quiet, but uh, they still have that closeness a bit. Um, I'm not as as close with my sisters, you know, because they are younger, they have their own they relate with themselves more than they do with me. But uh, I, I'm really grateful that I have a family and that um, I can say that God has helped me be more privileged. But uh, in general, we are semi-close. That's what I can say. Yeah. My childhood. Uh, my childhood was a bit strict at first because of my dad. I can say most of my gentleman aspects and why I prefer doing things my way and alone is because of my dad. Uh, he molded that behavior into me. That's why you'll always find me. I prefer to do my things alone. Yeah. Is in each other's eyes for four minutes. It was okay. The questions are really okay. I'd personally say if you want to know somebody in a more deeper way, definitely the game to play. It was uh, really interesting because uh, I've never been in a blind date before. And uh, I wouldn't like to say that it was weird because I was with a stranger, but I think now when I'm going out there, and um, have, I'm having a date, uh, I'm more mature and know exactly the questions and what to look for.